The purpose of this video is to show the normal uh, operation of the nomadic regulator, which has some bleeding in the back. Mm -hmm. I want to demonstrate what's normal, what's not, when it's working properly, when it's working not properly. Whenever you walk up to a manifold, the first thing you want to do is go to the zero point. Zero point is off, close, close, off, go across the air, open, open. So this is a zero point, zero point, safe point. Off, off, close, close, open, open, all the way to zero. Okay, the next thing we'll do is get ready to do something. The first thing I want to do is adjust the upper regulator to some pressure. So off, open, now we're going to put some pressure. I'm just going to go to, it doesn't matter, uh, that's, that's fine. We'll, we got uh, between two and two and a half bars, two here, and then we turn that off. So we're at two to three bars, off, we open the pneumatic, and we open. This should be off. Open, open, set, close. And at this point, the nomadic is, you could adjust or you could turn it off. On, off. Now, first thing I want to show you is, with pressure going to the nomadic, the nomadic off, we got soapy water here. We go to the back, and we observe, we get a bubble. So this is the normal air leakage on the back of the nomadic. Well, completely normal. So you can see it bubbling there. Perfectly normal bubbling. If we were to put a piece of paper behind here, we, we hear no noise and we don't see any movement of paper that's put behind uh, there. Okay, now we'll take the nomadic up to some pressure. Let's go to one and a half over. Okay, then we try again. See what's, what's, what's anything changed. As before, it's leaking about the same rate. Uh, that this is completely normal. Once again, you put this paper back here and you, you see no major movement. Now, it's possible to do two things that will make this thing go wild and not work properly. One is, normally the nomadic always leaks and is very accurate from one PSI to five PSI. The, the 150 regulator is, is not stable below five. So if you really don't want the leaking on the nomadic, you can isolate it out. Isolate it out, turn that off, turn that off, and use this regulator. But this regulator is not good below five, so if you want to be below five, you have to use the nomadic. It's also possible to make a mistake. If you turn that off, but leave this open, you can actually do it. That's off, but that's open. You can try to put this back here. You've got wild here, a very large amount of air, high pressure. Okay, once again, if you want to isolate out the nomadic, you must turn off this and you must turn off this. If you forget to turn off this, you'll have lots of air coming out. If I open this, drop here, lots of air, lots of air. So isolate out, off, off. There's one other way where you can run into a problem with this nomadic, and uh, what's called is ram pressure. I'm going to leave these off because I don't want to do it. But if you do very quick off on air pressure ramps in the back of the pneumatic, there's a seat that will actually come out and then the high pressure air will be happening all the time. You can fix that by taking off the brass, removing the plastic pieces and pressing the feet back in and then replacing the pieces. But never ram air pressure, never quick, always slow. Slow is okay very quick is, is, can cause trouble. It's like a hammer. Very quick air pressure is like hitting this thing with a hammer. So there's two ways you can get the nomadic not to work properly. 
and it always leaks. It leaks when it's zero, it leaks when it's at pressure. It leaks a lot. When it leaks normally, you don't hear it and you can't feel it on your skin. When it leaks wrong, you feel it on your skin and you hear it. And you also can see the drop in pressure. So once you hear, uh, hear that regulator leaking, something is yeah, wrong. Yeah, something's wrong. One, most likely one of two things. You're not isolated out right, you got this off and on, or because of ram pressure, the seat got knocked out of the bag. Okay, if you ever get the situation where this is leaking all the time, that's off, that's off, and it's still leaking, the suspicion is that ram happened, the seat in the back came out, and I'll show you how to put it back on. Get a three quarter inch wrench, loosen the brass part. There's some plastic fittings on here. And if you look, you'll see a white uh, washer on the bottom. That probably has moved out. So then you'll need a wood dowel, something to go in there and press that seat back into place. Once the seat's back in place, uh, check these parts here, make sure that uh, this isn't bent or cracked. Reassemble it. Retighten it and it should be okay now. When it's bound on the manifold, you may need a mirror to, to, to hold back here to watch pulling it out. Make sure there's no pressure whenever you do something like this.